In this Canva Pro video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create brand kit inside your Canva Pro account. If you have not had your Canva Pro account, feel free to reach me out at facebook.com slash story where I have a deal that you can enjoy cheap price of Canva Pro account. <laughs> All right, the reasons that you may want to set up the brand kit in Canva Pro is that so that once you set up the font, you set up your brand color inside Canva, you can save multiple of brand kit, especially useful when you're an agency. And then at one click of the button at the Canva template, you can change all the style, all the font and all the color according to your brand color. So in order to do, to do that, you need a Canva Pro account. So now I'm at my Canva Pro. So the first thing you want, I want you guys to go over is to go to the left menu sidebar in Canva Pro, go over to brand. So over brand here, you can see like you can do like brand kit, your brand templates as well as your brand control. So over the brand kit, I want you guys to actually hit new in Canva Pro. So you can create a brand kit, okay? So you can give it a name for this brand kit. So this is a testing by junlo.co on this Canva Pro brand kit and hit on create. So once you get started, so the first thing that you can do, it's actually adding your brand logo. So what you need to do is just to click a add int and just select your brand logo here. Okay, I have my brand logo uh, uploaded. So the next thing is that you want to tell, okay, so when you add, whenever you update your brand logo, uh, very cool stuff, right? Canva will automatically detect your brand color for you. So they detected this white and it's the exact same gold I'm using and the black color. So you can choose to whether you want to keep this. If let's say you want to keep it, you can keep or you want to remove, okay? So in that scenario, we can keep it, okay? So if let's say you want to add additional color according to your brand kit that is not like in your uh, brand logo you can definitely add additional color so maybe i'll just for this demonstration purpose i'm just going to pick perhaps a gray color okay so just for the uh, demonstration purpose and after that you can also select the brand form so for myself um we are going to add new all right if let's say you have any brand new form that you want to have you can drop it here Okay, so other than that, you can just hit on this and choose a font. So I always use Poppint and I always, always use Monster Up. So let me just put it here. And you can even adjust the size, right? Or if let's you have a specific font that your agency or your company is using, you can then upload your font over here. Okay, so it's very easy. Oops. I just opened the wrong file. So once you have do that and you set that, so you may want to set the color that you guys always use, okay? So this example, so that I can show you guys how it works eventually. So once you have done that, your brand kit is actually set up. So how do you know there is no save button you need to do actually? So I've already checked. So you can go over back to the brand, okay? And you see that, ta-da, here's my testing by junlo.co. So now, your next question is that, Jun, how am I going to apply like this brand kit into any of the template or any of the design Canva? Okay, so very simple. Let us just try uh, make a design, okay? So I'm now going back to the home in Canva. So I'm just going to create a design. I'm going to create Instagram story, let's say. And I'm going to pick a design in Canva. So let me pick a, I'm going to pick like two designs so that you guys can see. So this, this, this is a design one. Originally, the base color is like blue color. And I'm going to pick another design. Uh, let me check. I want to look for a picture. So let, let me pick another this design. So just now, I have already have a brand kit set up. So if let's say you want to change this image and this template according to your brand kit, what you need to do is just click on this image and then head over to styles. And once you're at style, you are able to see your brand kit is here. So I have multiple brand kits. So same like you, if let's say you've created multiple, you have have multiple. And I actually created one is testing by June, okay? So I'm just going to select that. So once you select that, 
all the color that you had, the color palette that you have will appear. So just now, I that is the first color palette is being detected by my brand logo that is like with the gold, black and white and the gray that I added. And I created a second color palette, which is like green and yellow, just to show you guys. So now let's see what happens when I click the, uh, the palette. So this is the image and I'm going to click this. Can you guys see that? It's changed to the color, brain color that I am. So when we try this and let's change to this and it will automatically the the changes. So everything, it's very, very easy and it's very fast. And you can also have this like a brand font. Uh, if let's say you choose to change your brand font, because just now I, I changed my brand font, brand font, I set it as poppins. So that's why when I click on this, uh, it will actually appear this. So this is the original design, but when I click on my brand font, which I set up in the brand kit in Canva Pro, it will automatically up, be updated. So when you when you set this up in Canva Pro, it is so super useful. It saves you a lot of time. So to me, Canva Pro is definitely a go-to if you want to. And originally, if let's say you set up a Canva Pro account, it will cost you more than I think about one hundred twenty dollar per year, depending on the time that you're seeing that. But you can get it at fifty percent of the price for the annual access if you're signing up with me. And I'm going to give you cool bonuses as well. So if let's say you want to know more about this Canva Pro exclusive deal that I have by adding you to my team account. So feel free to reach me out at facebook.com slash story. I'm just going to put my link over here, facebook.com slash story. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if let's say you enjoyed, can you please leave me a comment so that YouTube will recommend this video to more people. And also remember to join my exclusive Facebook group at Triple W dot amazing story when I'm going to input here, right? Triple W dot amazing story dot co so that you receive more free training and free tutorial just like this. And I'm going to keep you updated with that. Remember to contact me at facebook.com slash Juno story to enjoy the camera pro exclusive deal. And I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Take care. Bye.